the Mormon Church funded $30 million, which led to the passage of Proposition 8. And I feel that it is unfair that they can decide to take away my civil rights. We are in a democracy and not a theocracy. So you know what, I created a poster that, you know what, vote on Proposition M, a ban on Mormon marriage in California. Does that seem right? I mean, if they want to do that to us, then we can do that to them. So I am encouraging everyone tomorrow, Saturday, in Oakland, protest the Mormon Temple. And on Sunday, there will be a rally at noon at the Mormon Temple for doing what they did. There have been protests in Utah, there have been protests in Los Angeles, and we need to continue them. So basically, if they vote on our marriages, we want to be able to vote on theirs. We can vote on theirs, because you know what? Proposition 8 was unconstitutional, because when the legislature and the courts decided that homosexuals or the gay community were a protected class, that had to go to a, a two-thirds majority vote to be a proposition. And they just allowed it to become a proposition. So I'm asking, where's the legislature in this whole process? And if that's the case, then we can do the same thing. So. I think it's very unfair and very um, inappropriate that a certain group of people can say that a certain group of people can have rights, but another can't. You know, we, I remember the, um, the, the black movement and how they fought and uh, interracial marriage, let's not forget, and um, all the segregation. And I think that, you know, I know that uh, gay people are human beings too. We deserve just as much the right as straight people, as black people, as white people, anybody. And I believe that everybody has a right. Excellent. So what do you think people who voted yes on Prop 8, what do you think they, if they see what's happening tonight, taking over the streets, what do you think they're going to think? You know what? They better make some room. And they better be scared because we're not going to stop and we're going to grow. They can kill some of us, but they can't kill all of us. But you know what? Our voice will be heard. We will make history whether they like it or not. Just as Newsom says, well, better make room. So here we come. Well, I decided to come out earlier because I'd received a series of text messages in MySpace and Facebook messages telling me that there was a group of people who are concerned citizens like myself who wanted to have their voice heard about Proposition 8 passing and, and make sure that people realize that uh, separate but equal on, as far as rights are concerned is not equal. How did you feel when Prop 8 passed? You know, it was a really mixed moment for me because of the fact that, you know, on one hand we were celebrating the victory of Barack Obama and then at the same time um, people of outside interest, even from our own state, were telling me that my right to marry was not legal, that it was that my sanctity of marriage had been taken away from me, that my um, rights to love and live as I choose were being threatened in that moment. and so. Um, it was really bittersweet for me because obviously our country as a whole is going to be much better over the next four years, but my personal rights had been infringed on and it made me very angry. Mm, I see. And what, how do you think it went tonight? Well, I think that considering the grassroots nature of this whole rally, people, like I said, were sending messages to friends on, on the internet and through their text messages on their phones and we had at Dolores Park thousands of people, like thousands of people there and I looked out over across that sea of at least 5,000 people, I'm sure, and um, felt very joyous in the fact that we've finally come together behind a cause, that there's something that has once again unified the gay community and has brought in our straight allies and people are bisexual and transgender and, and people of all ages to finally rally behind this. <laughs> it's been an event. And you're a reflection of that event. Exactly. So why are you out here tonight? I'm out here because the community that I take vows to serve as a sister of perpetual indulgence dragged me out. They were out, and I had to be out here with them because oh, yeah. I take vows to serve them. Very good. So they were all out tonight? I think that a small percentage nice. of that community was out tonight. Okay. And it was a roaring percentage, okay. and a roaring percentage that's just going to pick up speed. Nice, nice. So what does your sign say here? My sign says, untaxed money from churches out of state politics. And what does that mean to you? It means that I would like to see all of the untaxed money from churches that were used to um, to support as a proponent of eight and actually um, po possibly like a, be a reason for getting that passed. Um, I'd like to see all that money either get taxed if they're going to be able to participate in the political decision making in the way they did, or I'd like to see that money go to for social services or to um, maybe make our state deficit a little bit smaller. Right to help with the California budget. Um, just a suggestion. <laughs>
I hear that. So, uh, what do you, how Thanks do you- Thanks for listening to me. <laughs> so, how do you think it went tonight? It was great. It was yeah. just like the old times. It was just like, there were people that were 24 or 23 years old that were my friends that I contacted this afternoon and said, hey, you gotta come down to this. Yeah. And I had to keep on like tapping them on the shoulder and say, hey, stop, look up there and see all those people. Wow, look around the corner. This is what it was like 10 or 15 years ago, but three times as large with white candles and it was just a sea. And it was really, um, I was very proud to be old enough to provide an educative moment to like the youth and the generation right. that I think are enjoying a lot of benefits from past activities that our community have laid down and done, such as tonight. Right, so now we're out protesting the marriage, the, the, the right to marry. We're just always stirring it up. <laughs> Seems to be that way. Yeah. Well, you know, we didn't do this you in 2004. Though. On the internet, <laughs> well, no, you know, my point is, is, like, we didn't do this in 2004. It's like, oh, there was all that gay baiting in the election. What was 2004? Well, you know, it was re Oh, that George was Bush the year that we were all fighting over the scaffold things in Florida. Who had time to, like, fight over the other things? <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Something else got stolen that year. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think that was it. I don't know my political history very well. <laughs> no, there was just a lot of gay baiting in that election. And now, a this gay time, we're not being baiting. Baiting. Yeah. Well, like, there's always been that. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, and I, I, my fear is that I would, um, I'd be really upset if what Clinton did for, like, militaries and the gay militaries, that, yeah, military, you know, yeah, I, yeah the, I, I would not like to be washed out in the in the regime that I'd like to see a lot of glory and hope that we're walking into. That's beautiful. I'm just a reflection. <laughs> okay, well, thanks a lot for coming out. Thank you for being here. Ooh. Now. Oh, yeah.